Oh, man, we got ourselves some more condensing happening here. We're going to write this one as a single logarithm, and it is a little bit different than some of the other ones we've done because we have two terms within a set of parentheses with subtraction out in front. How's that going to play a role? All right, so there are a couple ways of going about this one here. I'm going to go the way that Jenny suggested it, which is really the most universal way of going about this one because, as you see, we have two Ys in that set of parentheses, so we could condense that and do some things, but I'm going to go about it in the most universal way, okay? So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and distribute this negative, all right? I think that's going to be most helpful. So I have 3 log base 4 of X minus 5 log base 4 of Y minus 2 log base 4 of Y, okay? Now I've got my negatives all taken care of, and I can think about how this is all going to come together. First things first, though, I guess second thing is first, I don't even know. Um, I'm going to move my coefficients up into their exponents. So I've got log base 4 of x to the third, and then I have minus log base 4 of y to the fifth, and then I have minus log base, not loy, log base 4 of y to the second. Okay. So I've got all my exponents taken care of there, all my coefficients moved to exponents. Now I can condense this into a single logarithm. And by doing so, I'm going to have log base 4. We're going to set up a fraction because I know I'm going to have division here because I have that subtraction going on. Since the one with the x cubed is positive, the x cubed goes in my numerator. Now anything with a negative out in front, that's going to go to my denominator there. So that's y to the fifth. And I'm going to have that y to the second is going to end up in the denominator as well. Okay, so that's the, that's the spot that most people mess up because they might see, oh, it's positive right here. I'll throw that in the numerator. But this time, distribution made that negative, okay? So now I need to simplify this if possible. That's always going to be in the directions as well. Um, we're going to have log base 4 of x cubed, but now that y to the 5th and y to the 2nd becomes y to the 7th. And that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's a single logarithm. I simplified. I loved it. Jenny, did you love it? She loved it. She thought it was so fun, right? I don't know. All right. Hopefully you guys liked it. I liked it. See you later.